Okay, we are right back. Probably my daughter will call during this video and I will have to, uh, it's not that I have to, I want to talk to her. So <laughs> if she calls, I'll have to, to put you guys on hold for a second. Um, this is another station that does not have, um, uh, a workstation for ammunition. Interesting. So here are the pants. Here are the experimental blue camos. Uh, let's add bullet resistance. Yeah. Did I just make those pants? What schematic was that? Bullet resistance pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think maybe I just made those. I don't, I don't, I don't think I, oh no, 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 I did. Look, 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 I added, I added bullet resistance to them. Lovely. There we go. There we go. Perfect. And then here, I don't think I need anything just yet. I really need to find a workstation. So kind of sucks that this one doesn't have a workstation, but that's okay. Uh, we told ourselves that we were going to go, um, we were going to uncover this safe house and then we we're going to uncover that safe house. And then we we're going to be striking at that outpost. So let's go ahead and track that. And let's really hope, let's really hope that that one has what we need at it. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't, that's not a big deal. What we're going to do is just fast travel to one that we know for a fact, man, why can't we just take those, those jets out? That'd be pretty slick. Oh, wow. Yeah. So bad guys on the runway. <laughs> Rip. Um, anywho. Yeah, the doggos. I, re I think I respect the doggos. I respect and also make fun of the doggos. Ooh, it's called living in a paradox. Um, we'll fast travel to a place. We really need to make uh, some bandages. We just do not have any. So. Running long, running on empty, running long. Running long, running into the sun. I'm just running. I have entered combat. I am now fighting for my life. Oh my lord. It's a big guy. I can hear him. Holy sh... Nikes are right in front of me. Didn't see him. Did you see him? I didn't see him. Holy poo bear. <laughs> One well-placed rocket or, or rail gun round, and that would have been the end of me. I, I didn't see him at all. I just went up to open the gate. I just went up to open the gate, and they were just like, starting like, hey, what you doing? Yeah, I got to get over this fence. This fence is what's killing me. I go over the fence. Got to be a hole in the fence somewhere. Ah! Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's make, give me my stamina. Give me my stamina. Okay, here we go. All right, three, two, one. Okay, that. <laughs> Oh, developers. Oh, developers. Gotta make them. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. I take it back. Take it back. They're not so bad. All right. Oh, there's, there's the mission. There's the outpost. Yeah, we are not doing FMJs in this gun. <laughs> Yeah. I will say this, this game is a little weird in that every time there's like a big mission nearby or like a tyrant, there typically is a safe house. I guess they like, they know that you're going to die. <laughs> Why would you build a control point out in the middle of the open? Like that is not smart. I would, I would do more of the daily missions and stuff. If when I built a control point, it spawned human NPCs that I could just drag robots back to and have the humans help me fight them like that would be pretty slick 
Look at this place. It's always, it's always amazing what they think passes for a safe house. Like, they think this is safe. Like, they think this is... This is where you want to be. You got structural damage here. You have a fire. Probably had chemicals because it's a, you know, a barn. And, you know, those chemicals are now aerated because of the fire. I told you this story. I'll tell it again. I worked with a girl who, um, she was from South Africa. She was a chemist from South Africa. And I walked into this storage area and she had, this is what we need. We need the consumables, um, station. Walked into a room where she had, uh, chemicals and, uh, she had 300 milliliters of mercury, 300 milliliters of mercury. That's a lot. Like that's, that's. You can go to a bar and when you like buy uh, alcohol by the milliliter, like 350 is one of the, the choices, right? So it's a, it's a pretty good amount. And I just stopped. <laughs> I, I looked at her and I was like, why do we have like, like, like why, why is there 300 milliliters of mercury here? And, and, and she just had it in a beaker, just in like in a glass beaker sitting on a shelf. And she was like, oh, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not um, like it can't hurt you. I was like, yeah, it can. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, like if the wrong person walks into this room and starts playing with it, like it can hurt them bad. If it gets knocked off by accident and gets on the floor, it'll contaminate the entire building for years because it's very, very, very difficult to wrangle in because it turns to a liquid and rolls around everywhere. And it actually gets into like the deep parts, like the crevices and cracks, you know? And I was like, I was like, I was like, I don't even know why it's here. Number one. Number two, I don't even know why you don't have it at least in a jug that seals that has like a lid and glass. Why would you use glass if it falls and shatters? Like if it was plastic, it would just, you know, she and I had a fight <laughs> like, like, like she and I both dug her, our feet into the ground and, and we were ready to die on that hill. She was like, it is not dangerous. So the place I worked at, it eventually got to the part where, um, our bosses got involved. And we had to have like a sit down meeting and all I did, it was like, I was like, just call the CDC, right? Just call the CDC, ask them about mercury and, and I will, I will abide by whatever they say, you know, or, or call the county because the county would do these, um, amnesty days where if you, if you had like bad chemicals, you could turn them in and it would be no questions asked, right? They would just turn them in and, and that'd be the end of it. Um, So they, um, they did, they called, they called the CDC and, and, uh, and the mercury was gone that day. <laughs> it was gone that day. Like it was out of the building that day. Like the CDC almost, from what I understand, the CDC was like, where are you located? Like, where are you at? Like, we want to make sure that we know who you are. And at that moment, our bosses were like, whoa, 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 whoa. We don't really want you to know who we are. Like. Like you don't, you don't need to put this on anybody's radar. And the CDC was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're, we're putting it on the radar. We want to know who you are. Like, where are you? <laughs> and, and at that point they were like, you know what? It doesn't, it's a liability. It doesn't need to be in the room. And I, I don't, I don't want to come off as some kind of like blue Falcon or whatever, but at the same time, I don't want to work in a, in a building, uh, where bad things can happen. And especially like my dad was a fireman. So like if the building ever caught on fire and he walked in there, you know, like to him, that would have been a bad situation. He, he didn't know it was there. You know, that stuff gets aerated or something, especially if it gets heated up. But anyway, um, I don't know. I made the, I made the, I made the schematics for, or I made some more, uh, medical kit. There it is. Standard first aid, ammo pack, advanced first aid. So I, I want to go down this route. Yeah. And now I need to, to make a ton of standard first aid kits so I can eventually get to the advanced first aid. Okay. Um, I did not get as many first aid kits as I wanted. So I need to come over here and I need to recycle stuff. The first aid kits need adhesive. I wonder what it is I can recycle that has adhesive on it. I wonder, these are the recycled materials, aluminum, tungsten, lead, thread, and steel. I have some of those on me. I'm going to store all those. No reason for me to walk around with them. That's not being used on anything. 
I'm going to go ahead and recycle it and just kind of try to keep a mental note of what I got. Okay, that's gone. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, we're there. Components, uh, adhesive and plastic. Perfect. So I want to I want to get rid of the stuff that gives me adhesives. The assault rival suppressor. Uh, I think I'm already using one of these. There's the handgun. They call them silencers. They really should be called suppressors. But I think I'm already using... Yeah, the assault rifle silence. Oh, yeah, that that one's and that that one's like it, it's gray tier one, so it's the exact same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye to that. Um, what is this? Submachine gun, barrel extension. Now that right there is gonna do the opposite of a silencer. That's gonna make it louder, but it'll make it make it faster, higher velocity. Should do more damage. Same thing here. This is gonna extend it. This right here, we might put on the, um, but I'm going to use the compensator. We say goodbye to that. We might, we might put the barrel extender on the, uh, the M5. That way it gives us more damage, which is something what we want from the M5. We don't use an M5 because of the low damage. I don't care about that. I don't get any adhesive off those. All right, let's go here. This is the M5. Let's. We could upgrade. Oh, you upgrade each storage box individually, but it's universally shared. That's weird. That's weird. I wouldn't have thought that. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go to attachments. And for the muzzle, we will do the extension. And let's look at the damage when we do this. Okay. Wow. It doesn't. It's not a sign. It is a silencer. Assault rifle silencer. Okay. Did I take that off the other assault rifle? Oh, we already have the extension on this. We're already using the extension. I see. Velocity increase. Which I if you look, this is this is the the damage of the, the rifle and there's a velocity increase. It looks like if you add that to that, you get this. But yeah, that does more damage. So this assault rifle, this one is already putting out more damage because of the extension. So really, if we put that extender, hold on here. Let's, let's do a little bit of investigation here. Take that off. Attachments, muzzles, default. Okay. Okay. And we just go back and go to this one. Go to attachments. Huh? There it is. Yeah, the extension, right? So let's watch, let's watch. No. Really? Like nothing? Like you're not gonna, okay. All right then. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. Default, back out. Let's go to this one, attachments, muscles. Extension, great. This one, attachment, muzzles, silencer, cool. <laughs> uh, what was the other thing we had? We had a better submachine gun attachment. Yeah, it was this one. So a really nice one there. Looks good. Sight is the red dot. I like that a lot. I don't have any skins for it. Just not that cool. Uh, no modules can go onto that, unfortunately. So yeah, so cool, cool, cool. All right, so let's go back here to the recycling station. Let's go back to the attachments. Not using the handgun silencer, although we probably should attach that to one of the handguns. And then there's the submachine that we were using that was level one. So we're gonna say goodbye to that. Okay.
Where is the storage unit? There it is. We'll come over here. We'll take that and we will drop that into the storage unit. And one of these, one of these days we might come back to it. So there we go. Guns are upgraded. They're situated. EMP cells. We get electrolytes and rubber. Smoke grenades, fuel cells, comm array, fueled radio, emergency flares. We don't have a lot of stuff that we keep on us, which is really nice. We have a poo-poo ton of ammunition. I think with this, I am going to recycle that. Like I said, just like 600. We just don't need that much of it. And then I come over here and I can make, can I make 7.62? Um, can I make 7.62 armor piercing? Ammunition. Full metal jacket, 7.62, and then 7 point armor. Now that that's that's the last one in the row. And I have 14 right now. That would take five. I think that takes ten. Um, I got to where I want to be with that. I don't even know if I want the 50 caliber rounds because I don't have a scope. I can't see anything out of it. I don't think I want the smoke rounds. The electromagnetic rounds would be cool. Um, I don't use the submachine gun a lot. Especially with the... Oh, there's armor piercing for the, for the submachine gun. Eh, maybe. Maybe. I guess we'll... We're, we're just, yeah, we're going we're gonna to try to work our way down there. And then we need to make ammunition. Uh, that's the only bad thing is that you end up making ammunition you really don't need just to get points. You know, like I'll make some more of that. I'll make some of that, even though I don't really need the soft point. Make it. And then I should have got a couple of points for ammunition schematic stuff. Yes. I'm up to 17. That gives me 10. Maybe we go all the way down. Oh, 80? Good night. Okay, all right. Well, that's a fool's errand right there. Let's look where we're at here. We have this sabotage, this outpost. Let's go sabotage an outpost. Let's go pick up the Polaroid. For some reason, I don't know. I'm going to go on foot to the to the outpost. I don't, I don't really want to walk. <laughs> Really don't want to walk. I really don't want to drive to it. Oh, is that the outpost right there? Wow. Okay, cool. That's what I was saying. Like, sometimes they give you, like, the missions they give you, they give you a spawn point. Super duper close. There's also another safe house right over there in that church, probably. Uh, do I have binos? Like, I feel like that's a turret with a gun on the top of it. That's probably a turret with a gun on the top of it. There's a, a roaming patrol. Probably shoot the roaming patrol and see if I can't get them to come over here to me. And then maybe from far away, shoot the turrets. You know what I mean? Like if I can go from here, I'm going to switch ammunition because I don't want to use my armor piercing on taking pot shots at turrets. Wow, listen to the, with the extender on it. It doesn't, it's not, it's not quiet anymore. The sound of Zeus. Yeah, if that is a turret, and it's it's really it's really being <laughs> it's being very agreeable about being shot. I mean, I think it's got to be a turret. I don't know if it's just like a turret that has um has like a spotlight on it, maybe. <laughs> yeah, come running across an open area here, bud. Wide open area. Just run across it. Like a big old dum-dum. Hey, look at that. He's doing it.
Can't turn around now. Came all this way for nothing, but. <laughs> oh, there's one closer. Oh, here he is. He's gonna do his his Oh, there it is. His little his little scythe attack. I forgot to uh I forgot to, to equip. I forgot to heal up. I made the, the the kits, but I forgot to heal up. Whoops. All right, here. Uh, they're on two, I think. All right. That was a interesting engagement. Are they still in the field, or do they do they like reset? Like what happens? I've never really. I've always had adrenaline shots. Oh no! Here they come. All right. All right. Let's get down for a second here. Hold on. Not that. Now this has got the EMP in it, so let's see how the EMPs do. Suck a duck. Oh, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, he's down for a second, look at that. Oh, shit. Okay, got it. Know how that works now. Yeah, put birdshot in there, bud. All right, we shoot him and then we hit six. We shoot him and then we hit six. Okay, come here. We come to his back. You're gonna do your Nyarto thing where you jump in the air. What? 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 The invader? The invader? What is that? What's the invader? You don't have to be an invader. Stop being jerks. Stop being big fat jerks. Tyrant must be like super duper. Nah, he, he, he didn't. That guy there didn't follow his buddies over. He sure didn't. He's the more level-headed of the three. Look at him running like a big dummy. Look at him. Look at him. He has no idea. No idea what he's doing with his life. Speaking of life. Do that. Do seven. Bring it up. God bless. Okay, now give me that. Eat one. Eat two. Okay, bring up seven again. Switch out seven. We don't want to use all of our really good EMP. I know, I know. God almighty, that, whatever that thing is. That little railgun thing that he's got. Terrifying. Okay. Here he comes. All he has to do is get like close with that gun too. Like he just needs to shoot next to the. Powering it up. Where is he? There he is. Woo! I'm still alive. Still alive. Eat. Move, 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 move. Bob and weed, bob and weed, serpent time pattern. Back up here. Open up six. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see you. Eat again. Number six. You coming up the plank? No. What are you doing? What are you doing? You run around on the other side? Do you think there's another door over there? I think he ran this way. There you are. 
I have no idea why the submachine gun is such a good finisher. He evolved to level two. He's dead. Ain't no evolving to level two. Evolving to level zero. All right, it's dark. Now is our best time to launch a raid against a facility that I don't really know a lot about. Is that a doggo? Got movement on the left hand side. It's a doggo. We'll shoot him. Right, doggo? I see something moving over there. It's got to be a doggo. I will be a little upset if this outpost, if those are gigantic turrets, and I just, I'm not going to know what to do about that. Oh, there's one of those things out, uh, one of those beacons. Oh, I'm actually running directly at a turret. That has to be a turret. That has to be. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Yeah, told you, told you, told you, told you it was a turret. There's like no way that they would have something like that just not being covered. And I guess there's one on every side. Now the turrets should be very volatile and easy to destroy. That's my humble opinion. They're fixed installations. They're monuments to robot stupidity, right? Okay, there's there's two direct hits. Is it destroyed? I think that was it, yes. I think it's I think it's gone. It's gone. Perfect. It just takes two direct hits. Okay. Yeah, I got it, got it, got it. You felt left out. There's a doggo in the field. Three doggo. <laughs> oh my goodness, there are many doggos in the field. Did you see how many doggos? <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> uh, it was just, it was running on fire, dude. Like that guy's just on fire. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are doing great. Oh, good okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you got me. You got my attention. Hold on. Burst. Short controlled burst. Alright, alright, everybody. Alright, you're you're hurting me. Alright, stand back. Alright, all right, here we go. Okay, round two. Okay. Got it. Oh, wow. You got close, didn't you, buddy? You got closer than most. I hope I'm not going through my... Um, AP. Armor piercing. Who's left? You? Give me my hunting rifle. Oh, oh, oh. Good. That is a lot of dead doggos. Alright, just stop for a second. Just stop and catch your breath. Oh boy. That was a very that was a very bad situation to put myself in with that last doggo. That was silly. I didn't realize how very few rounds I had. Man, I don't... I probably will not be able to loot all these doggos. I will not remember where their bodies are at. 
it would be nice if they would if they would do the zip thing like they would they would like bark that would be nice the ones out here probably be a lot easier I really thought I had deleted um, a lot of doggos when I shot that one rocket to the right where I laughed a lot. Like, I really thought, like, I took, like, six of them out. But it looks like there's only one body over there. <laughs> but I really did. Like, I really was like, that's it, man. Like, you did it. And that, um, that over there is still operational. Now it should be gone. It looks like... It looks like two rockets. Is all it takes to knock them out. Oh, we got, we got a... Uh, a med kit off that one. Alright, now we just gotta stay away from that turret. Because that st turret is still alive. Okay. Reset the processing unit. Okay. Oh, shh. Nikes. I wonder how many rockets that thing is going to take until we explain the situation to it. Destroy the exposed generator. I missed. Check the outpost for resources. Handgun silencer level four, field radio, aluminum, and or a level five riffle scope. Okay. Okay. Well, there we go. There we go. That was our first bunker we took out. I feel better about this game now. Like I feel. Oh. <laughs> I always feel like those guys are, are like the nerd units, like the nerd robots. You know, like they're the ones that they like they have to go and see, like something has happened and they just they just have to go look. Oh wow, look at all that out there. Oh, 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 oh. What? What? Oh that that thing is still operational, huh? Well that's interesting. I thought the generator was offline and it was shut down and a bunch of other bull crap. It is not. It is very much alive and awake. That is some that that is that is misleading at best. Wouldn't you like to be a pepper too? Man, enough noise. Hey, look at that. We went through our backlog of ammunition for this weapon. So we can just go ahead and put that away and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bird shot. I swear. You ever, you, if you ever feel worthless, just remember that there's a game where you have to fight deadly robots and for some reason the developers gave you bird shot. I love these things. Like, what are you going to do, bud? 
what are you gonna do? Like, what do you? What is it? What do you got? What, what's in your repertoire? Now, somebody else over there, I, I might be a little bit more suspect though. Okay, perfect. Let's go back to the safe house up here. Let's gather our thoughts. Maybe make some more first aid kits, make some more ammunition. We have a rifle scope that of course we're going to put on the hunting rifle. I'm not going to do that in the middle of a, of a field, you know, I'll get up here to the house. There's a, uh, a streamer called Deadly Slob that I like to watch. Um, he's a little... He, he definitely is... Well, anyway. He, uh, he turned me on to this website called Radio Garden, where it, it shows a visual representation of where a radio station is in the world. And you get to... Um, you can just you can just move the world around and zoom in and put your cursor, your little green circle over a radio station, and you get to instantly listen to it. You don't have to sign up for anything. You don't have to to log into a website. Uh, it's one of the coolest things, and I really I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed uh, just going to a random part of the country. I, I I went to Lake Tahoe first because I really do like Lake Tahoe. Look at that. We're going to go from a a gray to like one of the best tiers in the entire game. Rifle scope. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. We need to get a, a magazine thing for this. And I guess we don't have a... I guess we'll have to get another sensor or like a, a module to put on this scope. I thought we had one for the... Uh, I thought we had one for the hunting rifle. We did have one for the hunting rifle. It's just it's just on the other scope. We'll have to we'll have to take it off. Ooh. Ah look how cool that is. Look how nice it looks on the gun too. That is like brand spanking new. So good. It would be better if it was like the, the, the level three, if it had like a range finder on it or something. Just like something to show you that it was like super duper aftermarket. But that's cool. That looks nice on the gun. And then we got a silencer. We got a handgun silencer. I don't think we're really going to use that. Yeah. Just store it in. Yeah. We're not going to be using it. Oh. We had like a really nice rifle scope in here already. I don't know why we had such a, a hinky dinky one on the, the hunting rifle. I guess I just didn't pay attention. That's interesting. Maybe maybe the hunting rifle was gray, and maybe the scope that we had on it was like pretty good. Who knows? Who knows these things? Something over there too. I can see the lights. All right. What else is left? What else is left? We can go kill the the wolf, the invader. C405 wolf. We can go kill him. I think that guy has a bunch of little ones running around him, so we have to, to pick it all off. But that would be cool. Go the wolf pack. I don't know. Um... We have another mission up there, an invitation. We have another bad guy over there. That's in the very far north. I'm not going to mess with that. I feel like I've liberated all this in the bottom. Like, I think I went everywhere and I've kind of done everything. I don't know what else I'd need to do. Down here, I've not really done anything. Where's the, um, what's the main missions? Oh, I've done all that. Okay. I need to find the bunkers then. Look for the command bunker in the forest region. Look for the command bunker in the farmlands region. 
Okay. Find the patrol map. Unlocks base building and base assault. Location, the farmlands region. A report was sent to the group soldiers, a squad. They should have reported back. Since you should check out the patrol office and see where the squad went. If the machines are, really are building something, someone needs to stop them before it's too late. Okay. That might be something we do. I know we're running out of uh, time on this one, on this video. Invitation again. Well, where's that on the map? Find the building, find the patrol map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where? Is it all the way down here? Yes. Yes, it's all the way down here. I really... Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Um, yeah, we're at 41 minutes on this. We will we will go to that safe house right now, and then we will we will take care of that main mission. Yikes. We... Uh, yeah, we overlooked that. Um, was there anything else I wanted to do? Oh, we need to we need to craft more of the um, standard first aid kits. Textiles. Ooh, textiles. Where does one get textiles from? How do you break down textiles? How do you break down textiles? Textiles. Well, the first thing that I think I want to think of textiles is all of the clothes we have. But I don't think the clothes... I don't, I don't think the... I think the clothes are, are like completely separate from your inventory. Like, I don't think you can... I don't think you can... Um, I don't think I don't think clothes are something that you can like interact with in these menus. I think you can only interact with them on your profile. Textiles. I wonder how you get textiles. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I think I'm good for right now. I have 300 rounds of APM, 400 rounds of AP ammunition for this guy. I don't really use him that often have two of those i really need more i don't have any more grenades i'm good with that 136 rounds bird shot you gotta be kidding me there's a buck i'll take that 300 rounds fine and then seven i can I, I make some more of these bad boys make some more of them one, that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There we go. And we get nine more points, but that's only for ammunition. But that's not bad. Oh, and we leveled up, so we get another skill point. Um, more health. More health might be really cool. Oh man. Spotting intel. We're gonna we're gonna start working our way down to get inquisitive mind to just get more experience. Like that that's that, that really. I'm, I mean, there's almost a part of me that wants to use some of my uranium to redo it and grab that. You level up faster, right? Yep. And what does this do? Difficulty indicated. If you look at them through your binos. Okay. All right. Maybe that'll that'll be more quantitative for us. It'll tell us whether or not we can we can beat up these robots. Um, like how easy or difficult it is. Maybe I won't be so <laughs> angry all the time. All right, fast traveling. That saves the game, by the way. I am going to take a little break. I'm going to say goodbye to you for right now. I'll come back. Uh, I mean, for you, I'll come right back. But for me, I'm going to take a little break. going to call my daughter. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you in the next one. And thanks for watching. We're in the bunker. This is where Hans is. All right. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And if you have a moment, please like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.